How you doing everybody? Welcome to Newbie Step. Okay, what are we doing today? We're checking out the deck that won Conquerors first place by Binks Plays. Now, shout out to Binks. I'll put a link in the description down below. You can go over and check out his channel. He puts out a lot of awesome content as well. So let's just dive into what this deck is actually trying to do. All right, everybody, so what's this deck trying to do? It's trying to ramp. That's what it's trying to do. All right, so by turn three, you have to have Electro or Wave. If you don't have one of those by turn three, just retreat, take your one cube loss, get out. And then when you do get your ramp by turn three, those are the games you want to consider snapping and go all in, right? So what's this deck trying to do? Uh, early on, you want to get Nebula, Spider Ham out, and then whatever your ramp card is. And according to Binks, you want to play all of them in the same lane. The reason you want to play all of them in the same lane is because you want to build into keeping an open lane, at least one open lane for your Galactus or for your Zola, right? Because you're either going to put Panther in the lane and Zola it or Devil Dino in the lane and Zola it, that kind of thing. So you got to leave a Zola lane open or a Galactus lane. They just need a blank lane. And but you don't. when I say you want to put them all in the same lane, it's only three. You got to keep at least one spot open, right? Like uh, your your one, your two, and your three drop is the most you'd want to stack in one lane, and leave at least one slot open so that you know if you do Zola later, your Black Panther can hop over there, right? Um, other than that, and you might be wondering why the Galactus is in here. Well, this is how Binks explained it. So essentially, uh, it's just a big surprise factor, and it also puts the fear in your opponent because once they know there's a Galactus in this deck, it's a big surprise factor. And from then on, they'll just have total fear on whether, oh, there's an open lane. Is he going to drop the Galactus? And they play around it. There's so much mind games that it throws people off. In addition, the opponent might be going really hard into a couple lanes on the left, storming it up, dropping Cyclopses, stuff like that. And then where you ramped, you know, then on your turn five, you can just be like, okay, nope. Boom, drop Galactus over on the far right, it wins, you blow everything else. Then you got one or two lanes, uh, one or two turns to drop something big, right? Devil Dino, or whatever you want to do. Um, so that's pretty much it. I've only played the deck a little bit, uh, but now we're just going to take it for a spin now into some conquests to see if we can get any tickets out of it. All right, let's go. This deck plays out. Might have the right amount of counters for it. Oh, we got Electro and Nebula and Sandman. This is a snap game if I ever had one. Because I play here, and then I play Electro here. Leave one spot open. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Feeling good about this. Because he might play left lane as well now, so that means Nebula should get to grow quite a bit throughout the course of the game. And granted, he'll always have a way to drop a little one drop to stop Nebula, but... Ooh, okay, you filled up my hand with a bunch of crap. If that's the case, let's get this out. I got a second Electro. Alright, well, uh, Sinister is a couple cards, but nah. Let's just get this in case he's got any ongoings that he plans to do. Oh, he had his out before Echo flipped. Okay, we don't want to be drawn cards anyways, really, because we our hand's already pretty much maxed out here. We don't have much space. Uh, we're going to go this into Sandman, I guess. Oh, so no, if we're going to be taking the Odin and Doom, we should leave two spots on the left. I doubt they're running a Killmonger if they're running Mantis and a bunch of cards like that. Like, they're going to end up killing off some of their small stuff. Okay. He's got some kind of Phoenix Force destruction, but I don't see a multiple man yet. I'm very curious as to what he's up to. We'll go with this, because he likes to play multiple cards. And if I can shut him down a bit here now, and then in the middle, we'll play our Doom and then our Odin. So what's he bringing back? A mind stone. <laughs> wow, okay. Well, he doesn't get to draw more stones from his deck, but he can only play one card a turn thanks to the friggin' annoying Sandman. So from here, I already snapped. Yep, so we're gonna play out. We're gonna play out Dr. Doom here. Because we got. What locations we got the best chance of winning here? 
So adding two of them combined is 13 power. But if I send out a four and four, I'm only adding eight to each location. So I think my best bet is this. A part of me wanted to play over there by Echo so they couldn't Cosmo me. But I feel like dropping the Doom here and then follow up the Doom with another card is the way to go. Okay, he's shifting a lot mid. Okay, I don't think, ah, oh, it's not gonna help me much. Oh, wow, that really filled everything up. Play the biggest card I got, I guess. But he only gets to play one card, so odds are I got it, still got it with this, but it depends what he can play that got on reveal in the middle there. And he can shift his six power stone around. Whatever, this is the biggest play I got. We're going for it. He retreated. Whew, okay. We're up by two. Pretty good start so far. Can't complain. But this deck that I'm going up against is not really a meta deck. I don't know what this is. Still only revealed like, what, five of his cards. We got the one ramp card. I prefer the electro though, so I can continuously ramp. Wave's a bit tricky. And I didn't get any one or two drops. This is typically a game I want to retreat from. I'm not feeling this. And then we got the rickety bridge. So we can't do Black Panther or Zola kind of stuff. I'll get this over here for now, just for the sake of forcing him to play a card over here later. My lowest cost card. So he just either got a Devil Dino or a Black Panther. Ugh, well, both are bad for me. Uh, let's see, let's see. Leader into Panther, into Odin, stacking it over here and we'll leave enough space. He's gonna play something big, like a Panther, in which case I'll get a Panther, which doubles into 24. <laughs> All right, leader, do your work. So now we gotta make sure the mid is looking pretty good, but the Devil Dino is bigger. The question is, do but then if I Odin on the left at the end, then that Panther doubles in size again. I don't know if he's got a Shang-Chi or something, so... I wish we didn't have the rickety bridge, I'd be able to Zola that going twice. Let's go with this. He snapped. Oh, he's got the Shang-Chi. Okay. So that means I just gotta get bigger than him in the left. And what's the best way to do that is this. Because this triggers what... I'm gonna get a leader effect. And Black Panther is going to gain an additional 8 power. So I'm adding 16 power plus whatever he plays. That should be enough to win this. Um, did I snap yet? Yes. Let's go all in on this. Let's go. I'm feeling confident. It's all his cubes. I'll still be in it with 4 left. Venom! Oh, it's not big enough, is it? The win by a margin of 15? Oh, why couldn't you go over to the right somewhere? No, here's probably better, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so we destroyed that. He wins. That was a gamble, though. I didn't know what he would play. I still don't know what his deck is. It could have been a big death or something. Maybe I was wrong to make the gamble there, not knowing enough about his deck yet. But, you know, I like to live dangerously every now and again. Get those great moments, right? Okay, spider ham into a wave, squirrels everywhere. Okay, that's annoying for both Dr. Doom and trying to Zola, so that's bad for me. Uh, I don't know if it's bad for him. No, because he's got destruction cards and he can just eat them all. So, not, not a good start. And that hurts him a bit though. So let's... Let's bonk him. Ham him up. Space Stone, okay. Mirage, you got yourself either an Electro or a Wave. And I, oh, he's got a Null. Hammered his Null, okay. Good to know, gotta remember that he's got a Null. Wave can be bad against him with all those, trying to play all those small drops, but he can't play a lot of small drops. Cards that cost one can't be played here, and cards that cost one, two, or three can't be played here. Go 
but we'll see. He's filling up over there, but he's not really because he's gonna... Okay... <laughs> that kind of worked out well for him. What's going on with me now? Electro... Electro spirals over there. Okay. He's filling up the board pretty good. He does have a Shang-Chi, which we don't like. He's cluttered up pretty bad, but he's going to be able to eat his way out of it with destruction cards. And if I play... The safe bet for now might just be to play this over here. Because it's safe from Shang-Chi for now, and we'll deal with it later if we got to. Oh, that changes everything. Oh, I would have been able to Galactus, but I can't anymore. This would tie me on the left, and can we hope that one drop, one card, and then I play the Doom and I spread my power out right across the board, would be enough. His Null has already been hammered, so he won't get all that effect. Um, I'm feeling pretty good about this. It depends what he plays this turn. He could pump his power up enough that it'll make a difference, but I think if I spread it out here now, I'm gonna snap. I'm going to wave him card from his deck. Okay, so he went heavy over there. How heavy? Okay. So this is looking good for me. Is it? So the leader would flip whatever he plays on my side of the board. So that's one option. Because this puts me at a win here and a win here, and then whatever he plays flips. The other option is play the Doctor Doom, in which case I'd be playing for every lane. Yeah, we're going to go with the original plan of the Doom. But he already played his Venom, so yeah, I should have been... Whew! Okay, call that one right. Okay, all right, so far so good. Got to get into those high stakes rounds now. Good, okay, so we got maximum two games left. I need some ramp though. I need some ramp. If I don't get ramp, I'm supposed to retreat, but can you really retreat when you only got four cubes left? Come on, I need electro or wave. At least electro or wave. Ooh, that's good for him. Uh, I'm gonna have to retreat out of this one. This is a loss already. Yeah, there's no way. Easy two cubes for him. With no ramp and whoever has the more cards, whoever has the more cards, and he plays like 101 drops in his deck. Yep. No chance. Alright, what well, comes out of his last game? Can he give me a ramp card? Yep. Okay, well, at least we can make a game out of it. Cards are with no ability. So Doom. So Doom bots could go over there. What are we gonna do yet? Hitting Doom into Odin. Sending a bunch of seven power bots over to the left is nice. Okay, so that's a good empty lane. So let's stack here, and then I'll put Electro over here. Does he have any movement cards? Only a Phoenix Force, as far as I know. So this is for all the marbles. Damn, with the squirrels! Ugh. I can't have the right lane filled up with garbage either. So I'm only going to get two triggers anyways. Squirrels. So many squirrels are ruining my day. Alright, we'll go with this. And then he's going to destroy over there because that'll give him a nice easy win. This on the other hand is huge for over here. Despite the fact that we're going to be doom botting and stuff to the left, of course, he could Shang-Chi this, but it's, if it's going to be played, it got to be played now. Okay. Now what are we going with? Because of the squirrels, we can't do the Black Panther double up. I'm feeling like this because this will add 14 power to the left. And it's going to add a 4 to the right. 
And if he does Shang-Chi and kill the Devil Dino, then I'll get the second trigger later. He does have the Null, which if he does kill the Devil Dino, it means he's going to have a big Null. Alright, that frees up the board. Uh, but he can't play Shang-Chi and Null now. I think my best bet is this. Zip for all the marbles. Death is big, but not big enough. Ooh, tight game. <laughs> what a tight game for the first one. Well, it worked out. Yeah, he killed so much with death that uh, you could drop it for free. Okay, let's... Decent start. Decent start. All right, getting on the battle, too. Let's do it. All right, everybody. We got no ramp, but we got our ham. Can we hopefully get a ramp card? Oh, he's destruction. Play this here. We'll bonk him up. What are we gonna bonk? Venom. Venom's a good thing to hit in a deck like this. After you play a card here, return it to your hand. Um, do we want to do that though? Not really, because we want to play this into a Sandman for four. Okay. He probably wanted to play his destruction card now. Now Wolverine could end up to the right, which sucks, but we're gonna we're gonna try to put a doom over there. So let's leave the mid open. We'll stack this over here for now. Well, let's go. So now he's only gonna get one card per turn, so his Deadpool is essentially useless. Uh, Wolverine, if you're gonna go right, no, he didn't go right. Okay. <laughs> Galactus. I have one play and one play only, and I feel like I'm losing the most on the left, so we'll try to pump that up enough. And then on the last turn, we're just gonna play a Doctor Doom and hope that that's enough. Really? I suppose. Can't tell if this is gonna be enough or not. Depends what he plays. Yondu. We killed the Nebula, so that's not very much power if you just open the play out of Null. We're down the most here. Why don't we add four to the left, four to the right? Play for every location. This is the play. This is the play. Yeah, we gotta get a better feel for his deck before we start snapping. Let's go with this. He went mid as well with the Carnage, hoping to get the Wolverine to go to the right. Wolverine went left. This should give me the win. All right. Whew. Nebula. I'm sure he's probably packing a Killmonger in that deck, but hey, gotta play the cards out, right? We got the one, the two, the three. I would rather it be Electro, but I'll take the wave. Can move cards there if I need to for turn six, so that's nice. Let's bonk what's in his hand. And like you said, stack everything in one lane if you can. Hit the death. All right, death is basically unplayable now, so that's good. Oh, load of rocks. Sandman, then Panther, then Zola. This could be good. Decent setup, everybody. Decent. <laughs> what do we got? We're waving it up. Oh, he's killing that early. All right. So again, we try to build this up over here. Let's do it. Oh, he's got the big 12. That would let him get his death out, hey? Okay, well, if that's the case, our best bet is the Panther here. And, but he could null. He's going to predict my Zola play. That's the problem. Yeah, this is tricky because if, he, if he's got a null, which we know he has, and I end up killing an 8 cost, then Null's gonna be 8 power. And he can predict that, but whatever. Let's go for it. I'm adding 16 left and 16 right. Is that enough? He only gets to play one card. 
Not enough. This should not be enough. I think this is four cubes for me. Good, it went mid. Stack all his power there. I don't care about it. We sent 16 left, 16 right. All right, everybody. Round two is looking pretty good here. All right, everybody. We got a little bit of ramp. First card you play here moves. What's he getting rid of on me? My Zola. So he knows I can't do any Zola tricks. Destroy the cards by the player losing here. So he might want that. So I'm not going to play there. Yeah, see, he wants Wolverine to lose. Got the Venom. That's good. Can't complain with that. That's the highest cost card in his hand, though. Ooh, I lost my Doom. I'm not a fan of that. He lost his Killmonger. If I play this... I feel like if I can get Electro dead... Let's do it. We play this over here. We restrict one card per lane, one part card again. Discard it or doom. Do we have enough to win with the leader play? Oh, possibly. I'm not going to snap yet. Depends what he plays here now. Look, because this can be a pretty big play here. At least it didn't go back mid and get destroyed a second time. Yeah, he's getting stacking up quite a bit of power here. He might have a Shang-Chi in the deck. Or does he though? Let's see. What cards? No, we know he's got a Death and a Null. So there's no Shang-Chi. So I could safely play the Devil Dino now. Which would add a significant amount of power. Let's see what happens. Oh, he's got the big Death. Okay, can that go right? Far right, please? Crap. Do we think this could win the game for me? <laughs> no, because if he plays Null and everything gets destroyed, then Null goes through the roof. Yeah, if he didn't have a Null on his deck, I would definitely risk the Galactus to the far left here just to try to sneak that cheeky win. But no, I think this has got to be a retreat later. Take my two cubes. Okay, into the next round. We got no ramp though. Turn five, all cards must be played there. So let's just chuck this over here then. That card's basically useless though with the Killmonger in his deck, but you know, play it out anyways. Oh, well. Okay, Dark Dimension, maybe. I got no ramp here. This is not a good start. Oh, he's definitely gonna kill Monger to kill that no got my ramp though so let's see what we can do with this Galactus not much of an option with the fact that he has and he killed that Nova early though uh, the fact that he has null makes it too powerful what do we get here okay it's a little better for me oh that location I want to get Sandman out to restrict what he can play. The other option is put this out and then next turn hit Panther and then hit Zola. Because I can't play Sandman mid and we gotta leave enough space to the right for the Black Panther to be able to go over there. Let's try it. I feel like the restriction is too important. Ah, I wish he would have known that he was gonna kill Monger, then I could have played it to the right. I guess I could technically play the two cards I want in the middle anyways, right? I could play the Black Panther and the Zola in the middle. Just for some tomfoolery. Right? No, because turn five, all cards gotta be played there. Ugh, okay. Do we just go big? He, as big as we can get? Just drop that for now. I can't decide. Okay. Okay, so we only get one card. Can I draw into my Doom? No, I got my Leader though. Leader is perfect. Leader is perfect. He did play his Venom, so if he plays something that's going to eat the right side, so be it. Card oh, he retreated. <sighs> Maybe I should have snapped, but I don't know. And he could play some big cards still. Okay, he's, got th he's down to three. We're going to get into some sudden death rounds now. Take your two cubes, buddy. That game is totally not working for me. But that's the nature of the deck. If you don't get your ramp, you gotta retreat. I just hate to do it for two cubes. Okay, we got a ramp and a Sandman. 
I feel like we snap, make him go be fully committed here. Because we can Electro, Sandman, Panther. Okay, I'll ham it up over here. Bonked it. All right, there you go. His death is useless. That's a good start. Can't play here after turn four. <sighs> Nebula would be so good over there, but he could always kill Monger Nebula, so there's no point. Because he's going to obviously play a couple things here now and kill that and have the big six power. I can't compete with that. So while we can, let's just get some power over here. We'll get this plus the Sandman. Five power is okay, I guess. So that's what we're going with. Because you know, look, watch, he's going to go left. Right? And he's going to kill that. He's already up to 11 power. I can't compete with that with my, with my deck. So... We're only going to have three more plays. And then I Panther there. We're going to have two Panthers. And then the Odins can go off a second time as well. Which could then hit the Panthers. So is there any point to not play it here? Just for the extra stats? Because even if it went left or right, it's still an extra three power. Okay, good. His left is filled up pretty good. We got the Sandman out. Sandman went left. Okay, I would have liked it to go right, just to be sure, but... We definitely are going to go this route. Get the biggest possible Panthers we can and lock down this win here now. Oh, he's venoming up. Okay, so his Null could actually be pretty big and he could double up the Null. That's true. Depends where the nulls go. But oh, okay, 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 okay. Obviously, I'm winning two locations. This would give me two copies of whatever he plays. We'll go with this. We're gonna yolo it. Come on, the original plan. Go right, go right, go right, go right, go right, go right, go right. No. Ooh! <laughs> what I was afraid of is if his null went right, then I think he would have won on points, right? Yeah, because I'm only up by seven. He dabbed the big 20 level over there. <sighs> Nail biter, everybody. Nail biter. Finish battle round two. Moving on to three. There's a lot of people running destruction decks now, I think. And if uh, I can keep waving and sandman them, it helps. Okay, bad opening hand for our last game here. Spiderham's nice, we just need a ramp card. Only one card plus five power. Keep that in mind. Devil Dino could be pretty big. Okay, Nova, so we could be up against destruction again. So we'll get a bonk in now. Let's check out what am I losing? Galactus. Oh, there goes my surprise of Galactus. Got his killmonger though, which makes Nebula good. If I can get her down later. Ooh, okay, there's our ramp right there. Case because we didn't draw it. So all I can do is this, sadly. Still don't know if this is worth staying in or not, but we'll see. Ace's mid lane is filled up quite a bit. We're ramping, we're ramping. So I don't need to play an Electro out now. What are we going to play out instead? Or we can just triple it up. We can do this, Leader, and then Odin. Yeah, let's just go with that. Depends if he's going to Galactus me or not. Hulk Buster. That's a big Sabertooth. And now he's... Okay. Okay. You could Shang-Chi me over there. I forgot that the one card rule, but... Oh my god. So if I played this here now... This is bad if he's got a Null, though. Because I'll be destroying it. I think we go with the original plan. Oh no. What oh, was the last card that he played? Is it Oh, is it gonna be a destruction card? No, it's a pig. So all I get is a pig. 
Oh no, I ate my other stuff. Oh, still big. I'm winning, and I'm about to trigger Odin and a Black Panther. And so if he plays to the right, he could get it, but then I should be able to get the left here as well. I feel like this is snap worthy. I don't like snapping on the last turn, but I'm up by so much that I feel like this... But if he shang chi here or something... Yeah, I don't know. Let's just play it out and see what happens. Oh, I can't snap here. I'll just take the two cubes for now. Is it enough? Oh! Whew, see what I mean? That was a gamble and snap. Try to get them Sandmans out again. Because as you see, he likes to play multiple cards. Saber twos and everything. Because if I wave on two, all cards cost four. I can't play out the Sandman on the next turn. Wouldn't mind a few low costing cards here now. I'm going to be able to play Sandman on four anyways. Right? So all this would do would be restrict him and slow him down a bit. All cards cost four, and I won't be able to play... Nobody could play anything next turn. Then on turn four, I play Sandman. Okay, let's go. So nobody plays anything now. Then we restrict him here. And then we play Doom. And then we play Odin. He's got a decent amount of power over here. So I should try probably try and match up a bit over here. Ah, oh, he's getting all of his cards out now. Oh, that sucks though. That hurts. Still, will it be enough? Can I win with... If I Doom here now, this puts me in the lead here and the left. And then I just mimic it again. He went left. Is it big? No, it's not big. But he is going to pump everything else up a little bit. Cards can move to the middle. This chain. Good, he retreated. Whew. I think he realizes that I can just hit the Odin and uh, trigger the Doom again and he can't beat it. Alright, wearing him down. Piece by piece. He conceded! it! Infinity ticket, everybody! He knows because I got the counter to his deck. This deck shuts down destruction. I ended up getting a lot of destruction opponents, so I can't complain with that. There we go, everybody. Infinity ticket. Loves to see it. Thinks his deck works. Just gotta have a bit of patience, and you gotta know when to hold them, when to fold them, right? All right, everybody. Well, that was a good conquest run. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you try out this deck. Have some fun with it. Uh, there's going to be a lot of destruction coming up next month, so this is a great counter for it. I highly suggest you give this a shot now when Dak and all them starts to come into play. I'll be doing some destruction decks myself. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Mash the subscribe button. I'd love to get some more subscribers over here. Hit that thousand eventually. <laughs> Anyways, peace and love, everybody. See you later. Take care.